guided meditation to explore your breath and explore your core. Lay down in a comfortable position. Allow yourself to feel the support of Mother Earth beneath you. You are so loved and supported. You are safe and you are significant. When we breathe, sometimes we use muscles that cause us to stimulate the fear response. When we are scared or worried or anxious, our upper chest muscles predominate. When we're relaxed, we breathe, expanding our belly. The diaphragm is the muscle of inspiration. When we're babies, it's really easy to boot a belly breath because of the way that our ribs are shaped. And as we start to crawl and get on our tummy time, the ribs begin to slant downwards because we start to use our abdominal muscles. However, some of us, we don't get to strengthen our ability to use our Buddha belly breathing pattern because we've had many stressful, traumatic experiences as a child. To preserve ourselves, we protect ourselves, we dissociate, we block out the pains, things that are not conceivable to understand that happen to us. Sometimes we're touched inappropriately by our loved ones, people that we're supposed to trust. And so we protect, we guard, we hold in the body. Allow yourself right now to place your right hand over your lower abdomen and your left hand over your chest. Take a deep breath in. And notice the rising of your chest and abdomen as you inhale. Right hand over the lower abdomen, left hand over the chest. Inhale deeply through the nose, expanding. Feel the expansion underneath your hands, chest and abdomen. Become aware of the movement that is happening underneath your hands, abdomen and chest. And notice if there is freedom of movement, abdomen and chest. Do I expand when I inhale? easily or do I feel any restrictions in my breath and my ability to expand (sighs) have I held back emotions have I trapped any emotions in my body abdomen and chest or do I feel free in my belly and my chest free to expand there's no right or wrong it's just what it is become the observer the witness of the sensations in your abdomen and chest (sighs) 
It's a feeling. What does it feel like? Breathe and expand. Abdomen and chest. You are exploring and being curious. Am I able to expand my lower belly easily and effortlessly? Or do I suck in my belly when I inhale and only feel my chest rising? Notice if that's true for you. When you inhale, upper chest breathing is expanding the chest on the inhalation and the abdomen sucks in. This is upper chest breathing pattern. When a person has had traumas, fearful things happen, when they do not feel safe, especially chronically as a child, we tend to adopt this primary breathing pattern. Upper chest expands, belly sucks in. If our parents said, be quiet, stop doing that, get down, stop crying, and we feel scared because we're constantly being yelled at, we suck in the belly. We hold our breath and then we become that pattern of breathing as adults, teenagers. Allow yourself to lean back once again and notice what's arising in you. Is any of that true for me? If we also suppress our power, if we stay small, for others to not be intimidated by us. Or if we quiet down, we block our solar plexus, we hold back literally in our gut and the upper chest breathing predominates. Have I held back my power? Have I kept myself small for fear of being left out in a group. If we have any shame in our sexual parts or if we were touched inappropriately, we tend to contract in our genitals area. If our parents, maybe during when we were potty training and we wet our bed or if we wet our pants and our parents got upset with us, we hold in the genitals also and we hold shame and we hold trauma. And if we're self-conscious about what happened to us with all these events related to anything down there in our body, we tend to contract and hold and that affects how we breathe. Allow yourself right now to become aware of how it feels in your lower abdomen to expand when you inhale. Is it easy for me to expand? Expand my awareness into my hips, my anus, my genitals, my lower abdomen. Breathe down, bring your attention down into your hips, your inner thighs, your genitals, your anus area, your sacrum. Breathe and expand your awareness here. Notice how you feel about becoming aware of these body parts, the lower abdomen, inner thighs, hips, low back. Allow yourself to breathe and expand and continue to practice being the witness of the sensations in your body as you inhale and expand awareness down.
expanding down, bringing awareness down. Am I holding any emotions here, any energies of the past? Do I feel open here? Inner thighs, lower abdomen, anal area, genitals. And we're going to bring our awareness now to our ribs, placing your hands on the sides of your ribs, allowing yourself to strum your fingers, your five fingers, in between your ribs. We have these muscles called the intercostal muscles. They're in between the ribs. And as you slide your fingers, the pads of your fingers up and down those diagonal ribs. Notice how it feels to move your fingers against your intercostal muscles. When you inhale, notice the expansion of these muscles. There's a lateral flaring of the ribs. And upwards, outwards, up and down, side to side, front to back expansion, three-dimensionally. Is this easy for me? Is it easy for me to expand my ribs? Notice how it feels for you. As you inhale deeply, how does it feel for me to expand my ribs? Notice the sensations underneath your hands as your hands are placed diagonally along your ribs, placed on the inner costals, the muscles in between your ribs. Asking yourself, do I hold any sadness in my lungs? Any regrets? Any resentments? Have I taken anything personally from my past? Am I bitter about anything? Notice what arises. Inhale deeply. Feeling your ribs and the muscles in between your ribs. Expanding as you inhale through the nose. Drumming your fingers up and down, massaging the intercostals and feeling. Are there any areas that feel sore, tense or tight? The muscles in between my ribs, the back of your ribs, the sides, the front. Allow yourself to continue to explore your rib cage and the muscles in between. Be curious. Be an observer of the sensations. Notice if it's easy for you or if you tend to get distracted 
or dissociate. Reconnect by taking a deep breath in and feeling once again, cultivating this practice of embodying, sensing, noticing, feeling from the inside out. Feeling the expansion, chest, intercostals, ribs moving. <sighs> Creating circles of love now over the sides of your ribs. Gentle, rhythmical, circular movements. And noticing how it feels to touch yourself circularly on the sides of your ribs, up and down the sides of your ribs. Are there any emotions that I'm holding in my rib cage? my lungs in my heart do I feel there is a lock in my heart my heart is shut down or closed off or do I feel that my heart has protective gear have I built a wall around my heart Or does my heart feel frozen? Is it hard for me to feel? Wherever you're at, know that it is perfect on your journey. And remember that you are mostly made of energy. You can shift very quickly how you feel. It's all your own decision and choice what to create. I decide to feel everything that arises and flow the energy of my emotions, thoughts, my feelings, my sensations. I decide to flow like a river. I decide to feel everything I choose to allow all the old emotions of hurt, frustration, pain, anything that I've blocked out, anything that I've closed off, locked down, avoided, allowing these energies to come up now. I decide to flow them easily and freely. I decide to feel and flow. Allowing yourself to massage your breasts, your chest, massage your uh, armpits, massage your abdomen, massage your body wherever you feel called. Chest, ribs, your low back, keep your eyes closed. to create your own sounds sound is vibration vibration stimulates the healing hormone allowing yourself to create a sound to reflect how you're feeling right now and as you create your sounds feel the vibration in your chest your abdomen your ribs focus on the sound Feel the sound. Ah. 
sound frees you, your sound liberates you. sounds feel you feel guided to create they're so perfect for you play with your voice ah, ah, ah. it's your turn now start to think or analyze or get restless come back to your breath awareness expansion feel and flow create your sounds yourself to now move your hands to your shoulders touching your shoulders being curious how do my shoulders feel the upper traps do I hold a lot of shoulds in my shoulders I should do this I should do that I should be this I have to get that done or do you carry worries on your shoulders for others? Do you worry about your relatives, your parents, your children? Do you worry about your future? Do you worry about the world? Do you worry about the environment? Do you worry about the government? Allow yourself to breathe in deeply as if you have lungs in your shoulders. Exhaling all those tensions through your mouth and through your sounds. <sighs> Breathing deeply as if you have lungs in your shoulders. Continue to massage and touch your shoulders. <sighs> and allowing yourself to wash away all those worries with your sound, your breath, your massage. This is your medicine. You are your greatest source of comfort and healing. <sighs> are you ready, willing, and able to release the burdens, the heaviness, that you've been holding in your shoulders your whole life? Yes, yes, yes. I decide to free myself right now of these energies. I decide to free myself of thinking that I'm supposed to be responsible for anyone other than myself. And I mean happiness, the responsibility sometimes that we take on to make others happy. I'm only in charge of my own emotional state. 
liberating yourself, whew, establishing healthy boundaries and a new standard of what you carry in your body. I decide to carry only love in my body and circulate the energy of love in my body. Love, acceptance, compassion, forgiveness, patience, kindness, deep breath in. There is only love, acceptance, compassion, forgiveness, patience, and kindness circulating in my body. <sighs> Fear has no reign over here in this body. We can flow our fears and see fear as an opportunity to come back to love. We're only meant and designed to have fear for short-term duration and to move away from those fears, to process those fears. Are you willing to be a fear processing expert? Yes, yes, yes. And a love circulator? Yes. <sighs> Saying to yourself, I love and accept you exactly as you are. I love you. I love and accept you exactly as you are. I love and accept you exactly as you are. I decide to love and accept you exactly as you are. Keep on massaging yourself, touching yourself. I choose to love and accept you exactly as you are. I decide to love and accept you exactly as you are. I love that I decide to accept you exactly as you are. I love that I'm open now to accepting and loving you exactly as you are. I'm so grateful that I am making the time right now to feel, to touch myself lovingly, stroking up and down your neck now, the back of your neck, up and down the back of your neck, up to the back of your head and back down to your shoulders. Slow strumming movements up and down. <sighs> Noticing how does my neck feel? How does my jaw feel? <sighs> and allowing yourself to pretend that you have a lung in the back of your neck at the base of your skull where your neck meets your head. Breathing and expanding. This is called the sub-occipital area. <sighs> Do I hold tension in my neck? Am I on the computer a lot? Or do I read a lot? Or write a lot? And not take enough breaks? And bringing your fingers where your TMJ is, opening and closing your mouth, right around where the ears meet, the sides of the cheek, <sighs> circular movements around the sides of your jaw and cheeks in front of your ears. Become a witness of all the sensations in the jaw muscles. <sighs> Opening your mouth and noticing how do these muscles feel? Do they feel relaxed, soft and supple, or tense and tight, contracted and constricted? Noticing the sensations as if you're watching a television, watching a movie. There's no judgment or analysis. You're simply curious, noticing the sensations as they arise. <sighs> Ask 
asking yourself, do I feel free to express myself and my creativity, my emotions and my feelings? Or do I hold back how I feel or expressing how I feel? Am I self-conscious? Do I keep myself small and hold back saying what I want to say or feeling what I'm feeling? Open your mouth. Ah, stick your tongue out. Ah. How does it feel to stick your tongue out and open your mouth and create your sounds? Explore this now. Continue to massage your jaw muscles, your neck, your face, your cheeks. Allow your inner guide to reign over you. You are your greatest healer. You know what to do and how to be with yourself. And you might think, no, I don't. <laughs> You are creating it right now. Keep your eyes closed. Feel and flow. Be there for yourself. Trust yourself. You know. Are you willing to know yourself on a deeper level now? You've already begun by listening to this meditation and being here. Every single second you are strengthening your inner relationship. Listening to this meditation is so beneficial if you wish to be more intimate, be emotionally available with yourself and with others. This is how we cultivate it. Our vulnerability is our superpower. According to Brene Brown, and I definitely can agree to that. Our vulnerabilities are superpower. When we are vulnerable, we're completely authentic. We get to discover our true self, the truth of who we are. Allow yourself to continue to massage your jaw, muscles, your face, your neck. What feels true for me right now? Is it tension? Is it lightness? Is it emotions coming up? Sometimes when we massage ourselves, we get so relaxed, we stimulate the love hormone, the healing hormone, that emotions, memories, past traumas, past hurts come up. Be grateful when you cry because that means that you're processing and releasing the weight of the past. Those trapped energies that were stuck inside your body tissues are releasing. Your emotional, emotions are energy in motion, but a lot of times they're not in motion, they're constipated and they're holding because we're in that freeze state. You're unfreezing now, you're thawing out. Inhale, 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 and then you get to experience the juicy aliveness eventually. You start to feel the energy of love flowing through you as you dissipate the energy of fear bitterness, resentment, anger, rage, frustration, shame and blame. As we process the past emotions that were stuck inside of us, all that is left is love. All that is ever revealed when we do these exercises is the love that we've always been from that first moment that we were born into this world. These practices allow you to come back to your pure essence, your pure self, which is love. You are love. Feel yourself. Open to feeling yourself in this way. Whatever feelings arise, welcome them. I welcome you to feel and flow and maybe some of that might be today I'm not feeling much or struggling to just pay attention to this moment. 
If you escape yourself, have so much compassion, you've probably had a reason to, to survive. Are you willing to thrive now? To heal at the root? To get to the root? And to process and release the weights of the past? Yes, yes, yes. I decide to heal at the root. To feel everything deeper. Ah. Allowing yourself to feel and flow. Feel and flow. Continue to massage yourself however you feel called to. Trust yourself. Thank you for feeling everything. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you. For some of us, it's been so hard to meditate, to feel, to stay with ourselves. We might have had abandonment issues. Our parents might have left us or not spent enough time nurturing us. And so we didn't learn how to stay with ourselves. I am so grateful for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for staying, for listening to this meditation, for being with yourself, the most precious, divine person in your life. Stay. You're so worth it. You are so worth it. You're so worthy of it, of all this attention. Feel it. Feel this gift that you've given yourself. Feel the gift of intimacy. Feel the gift of vulnerability. Deep connection. When you find it with yourself, magic happens. We heal spontaneously. The body feels light. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Expand, expand, expand. Bring your arms out and your legs. Become a five-pointed star. Hold your breath. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. When you can't hold your breath anymore, exhale. Ah. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. <sighs> inhale, inhale, inhale. Open up your body even more. Expand even more. Expand, expand, expand. <sighs> if 
feeling the space that you occupy. And feeling the space around your body. Taking up all of your space of who you are. There's more than enough time in my life for myself. And I choose to take up the space of my whole beingness and allow myself to feel every single day the star that I am, the radiant star, lighting myself up, imagining myself in my highest version of myself. <sighs> Connect your thumb and index finger together. Inhale, inhale, inhale. We're going to create this state and remember it this open state of yourself, expanded, five-pointed star, circulating all that love and whatever else arises and anchoring yourself to this feeling, open, expansive, empowered, light. Open, expansive, empowered, light, accepting, all sensations deep breath in keep your thumb and index finger together this is who I am a powerful creator love acceptance abundant empowered always whole and complete, energetic, feeling yourself, deep breath in, <sighs> when you wish to come back to this feeling of empowered, expansive, light, loving, connected. Bring your thumb and index finger together wherever you are and wherever you go throughout the day. You've anchored yourself to this sensation, this feeling, openness, connection, acceptance, abundance. These are all your natural ways of being. It's easy for you. It's effortless. Are you willing to strengthen this program in your mind? If you've had a lot of drama and trauma, sometimes we think that's normal. That's our past. You are a powerful creator who can create whatever you wish to create more than what, you, what we've been led to think. And so ask yourself, how do I wish to feel in my life? more empowered connected inspired light abundant accepting content grateful breathe in the feeling of whatever it is you wish to create for yourself you are Whatever you decide to be and how you think and feel creates. We get what we are vibrating at. Our thoughts and beliefs influence how we feel. What kinds of thoughts would I have to have throughout my day to feel my highest version of myself whole and complete? Allow those thoughts to arise feeling yourself as your own best friend. You are your own cheerleader, insourcing your love. You validate yourself. You value yourself. You appreciate yourself. Feeling whole and complete from the inside out, 
loving the relationship that you have with yourself. And if there's still some hurts or resentments, even now, are you willing to forgive yourself? To let go and love? And so maybe you're still feeling angry. It's okay. Love that angry part of you. Love that part of you that's struggling so hard to let go of the past identity of you. Listen to this meditation over and over and over again. It will benefit you greatly. Take a moment now to hug yourself, love on yourself, and thank yourself for all of this precious, intimate, vulnerable time with yourself. Thank you, five-pointed star. Thank you, amazing being of light. Thank you, powerful creator. Stretch your body, open up your body, elongate your arms and legs, and circle your ankles and your wrists. Be more present now to this room, looking, opening your eyes and looking around the room, feeling your body moving, your limbs. Look at all the colors around you and textures. I am here. I'm awake, fully alive, and feeling your breath, and feeling the benefits of this precious time. Experiencing from the inside out your wholeness. Wishing you a magical day. Write to me. Let me know how this meditation benefits you. And journal. Take a pen and paper and allow yourself to write whatever comes up for you. Thank you. <laughs>